This is my first post on Reddit. My individual counselor has asked me to make a post to get it off my chest. I'm sorry. I know I'm in no position to negotiate. I did the worst thing imaginable. I'm sorry for making this long. I'm 42 female. My husband is 44 male and we have an adorable daughter 17 female. I was the one to have an affair. My husband is a real estate agent who works multiple hours and spends much of his time out. During October 2020, a guy let's call him J. 24 knocked me on Instagram. We chatted in a decent way. Turns out he's the younger brother of a classmate with whom I attended high school. We chatted for seven months and in April 2021, we met the first time. Soon after, we began to have an emotional affair which later turned physical in June 2021. Despite knowing I had a family, I somehow convinced my selfish self that I was right. That it isn't serious and should be okay I did not know what I was thinking needless to say I was denying my husband any cuddling or romances. We were more like roommates at this point. We just basically slept on the same bed. We didn't talk much. He was struggling at his job. I couldn't be a good wife to him. I used to taunt him, argue with him over small reason. I used to absolutely despise him Jay was much more fit and handsome than him. Jay began to think I settled for less even after I had a family and a good marriage. I'm going to be honest. It was all on me August. His mother passed away and he breaks down in the bad way he never had a good connection with his mother. She disapproved of me because of my past choices. Which is why I asked him to choose. I was pregnant at that time too. After this, he rarely talked to his mom in front of me. Though he met her a few times without telling me he began to argue with me more. Blaming me for his mom's death. That I was what kept him from meeting his mom and I must be happy now that she's gone. I did another bad thing here. I didn't support him emotionally. I shouted at him. I didn't realize the impact it had on our daughter. I told him in August I wanted a divorce. That further broke him down. I rented out a small apartment and move out, taking my daughter with me. I told her I didn't want her near her father as he was having a mental breakdown and becoming emotionally abusive. Jay sometimes used to visit us. I introduced her to my daughter. They became friends due to similar gaming mentality. They both play the same game I guess things took the worst turn possible on the 24th of September. Jay tried to make a move on my daughter. She barely got out and called her father. I was working in the office then. She tried to reach out but couldn't due to my phone being on silent mode. When I saw her calls, I rushed to my home to find it filled with police and people. Jay was rushed to the hospital with a broken arm, broken jaw and swollen eyes. My daughter told everything to the police. Her eyes were red and she had been crying. I tried to console her but she pushed me away. As my daughter was the victim and my husband had friends in the department, no charges were pressed against him. He was let go after police confirmed Jay was harassing my daughter. After everything calmed down for a bit that day evening, my husband reached out to me with my daughter asking for the truth I gave him the truth then. I apologized, begged, cried for him, told him this was the worst mistake and I never thought for things to turn out this way. What hurt more is my daughter telling me I was a homewrecker. Husband said he's going to take our daughter with him and we will be getting divorced. He's pushing for full custody and filing a fresh paperwork for divorce on grounds of infidelity. I told him I want to work on our marriage. Beg him I want a chance. He isn't listening to me. I cut off all contacts with Jay October 2nd. Jay's girlfriend yes he has a girlfriend I didn't know about her at all contacts me and types out all the worst names you can imagine on earth. Tells me that she broke off from AP and she wishes my family breaks up too. After that day, I started to work on my marriage. I tried reaching out to my husband. He blocked me on everything. Even has a new phone number. I've began individual counseling reading books and trying to come clean about everything. I had a chat with my daughter. She doesn't want to call. I told her everything. Told her I was sorry and all I want now is just a happy family and I'd gladly give up everything to make it work. She tells me I'm selfish and that I would have kept her father in dark only to get restart with Jan thanked for breaking up the happy family and home she has known of. She also told me that her father is introducing her to his side of family his sister and brother their way nicer than I am. I'm sorry for this is long. I'm new on Reddit and I don't know if this is the right place to post. I need advises to work on my marriage I realized what I did. Me 23 female with my 24 male together 7 years, I messed up big time and I want him back. 
Jason and I have been together all through HS, and even college, we were each other's first everything. I loved him from the start and I know he loved me as well. Our families know each other, both sets have accepted each other into the family. We've spent many of holidays at each other's parents' house. Life was all set and I know he was going to ask me to marry him this past summer, I know he already had a ring he doesn't know I know that BTW. But last spring I blew it. I got a new job and it started messing with our schedule and we got to see each other a lot less. This led me to having more time to myself and made me start having doubts about how my life was going and about us. So around Memorial Day I decided that maybe it was time for a break. Maybe it was time to see how single life was and have no responsibilities. We talked and he was obviously upset, that is an understatement he was pretty much shattered because while I had been thinking about it a while it kind of came out of the blue to him. He asked me if there was someone else and I told him no, that this wasn't about me finding another person that this was just about me wanting a chance to be free. He asked if there was a chance of us getting back together and I told him that yes I really believe that in the end we would be together but I just wanted some time alone. I said I wanted to call it a break. This seemed to set his mind at ease somebody still was upset. Honestly as bad as it hurt him I felt horrible and almost backed out but I knew that I would be unhappy if I did this. I held him until he calmed down and we agreed to get back in touch with each other after a month. I also told him that at any time during that month if an emergency happened he absolutely could contact me but I really wanted to have the month to think and sort things out. He agreed. The first week was much harder than I thought. I had to fight the urge every day to text or call him. But by week three things had gotten better and I felt like I was making real progress as a person. At the one month mark I contacted him as we agreed and we met for lunch on a Saturday. He was very different this time, very distant and basically just let me talk and only really responded to my direct questions. I wasn't sure what to make of it to be honest with you I don't know if he was mad at me or if he was just protecting himself or what. I told him that I missed him but really was starting to feel at ease on my own. I could see the look on his face although he didn't say anything to me. I said that I thought I wanted to take the summer to myself. He just said well call me if you ever change your mind and he got up and left. No hug or kiss goodbye, nothing. This upset me but I knew he was hurting again. This time though I decided I was going to keep in contact with him via text and phone call so he knew I wasn't abandoning him. At the beginning of August a co-worker invited me to a party at her house. There I met a friend of hers and we spent that afternoon talking and hanging out. It felt weird because I had never really spent that much time with another guy but he was very nice and cute so while I felt bad, I didn't feel that bad. At the end of the day he asked me to meet him the next week for a bicycle trip. I did and it was a good time. He then asked me to dinner and well honestly we just started dating. I wasn't cheating as I was single but I knew that it would be unfair to not tell Jason because I knew from talking with his sister he was not seeing anyone and that he really was just moping around the house. I sent him a text telling him that I had started to see someone else and that I was sorry this happened. He simply typed back okay, bye. At the end of August I had sex with the new guy for the very first time. He was awful. As soon as it was over, which thankfully was pretty quick, I had a panic attack. I knew I messed up and really started to regret everything. I went home and cried myself to sleep and then the next day got up and tried to text Jason only to find out that he had me blocked on everything. I had been talking with his sister before so I contacted her to see if she would have him get a hold of me. She was bluntly speaking very rude to me and told me that I had broken her brother's heart and that I needed to leave him alone. This was back September and I have been trying my best to contact him since. I never saw that other guy again. I have learned that while I enjoyed my freedom that it was nothing compared to having Jason in my life. I finally got one of his friends last week to talk to me and he said that Jason is still alone and is very unhappy. So here is my question. Do I just show up at his house? I know some people will tell me that since he has blocked me that I should stay away. But I honestly feel like this was a mistake I made that hurt both of us and I think I can fix this if you will just talk with me. I can tell him how much of a mistake everything was and I can spend the rest of my life making this up to him.